right, this is going to be a quick and easy one. Starting off with an all white prime, no zenithal on this one, just all white. This is what I found to be the easiest way to paint ghosts. We're starting with some Drakenhof Nightshade, which is the blue wash from GW. Now any sort of color scheme that you want to go to is cool. Um, I just found that this blue to purple to red seems to work really, really well. And it turns out in a way that I really like. So you want to make sure that you just completely cover pretty much the bottom half of the model. I left off all of the extremities, so no arms or head or anything like that. But this, the dust cloud that's at the base all the way up through kind of the center area of the model. I'm going to make sure that I hit with the Drakenhof and let it pool really well in there. And now before that dries, we're now going to come in with Drukei Violet. Now Drukei Violet, I'm going to cover pretty much uh, starting from, well, I guess the top two thirds. So I'm going to cover a little bit of the blue and try to blend it together and then hit some areas of the smoke there at the bottom. I'm going to cover the arms, the hands, the face, everything. Because when we come back with the final color, we're going to lay that over as well and just try to make it a really smooth blend. The nice thing about washes is that they blend together really easily. So you don't have to spend hours and hours laboring over the smoothest of blends with a wet blend. You can just basically paint one over the other one and um, as long as they're both still wet they'll blend together so while that uh, Drukei Violet is still wet I've now uh, started with the Karosberg Crimson which is the red wash so you went from blue to purple and then we're gonna have red in the top little bits I'm just doing the hands the outside of the arms a little bit in the chest cavity uh, the head and the shoulders don't want to go really any further down than that. And Karesburg Crimson is kind of a purplish red. It's not really a bright, vibrant red. So it could have done with an extra glaze of this. But if you want to get it done quickly, you don't need to really worry about it. Now I'm using Mechanicus Standard Gray. And I'm going to do a pretty heavy dry brush. Um, about 20 minutes has gone by on this model. I made sure that all of the wash dried 100% before you start a dry brush. Otherwise, you're going to get a huge mess on your hands. But where that bottom smoke is, uh, pretty much not on the physical form of the model uh, too much. Just staying really on that bottom area. Now I've mixed some Wolf Gray into the Mechanicus Standard Gray. And this I'm going to cover pretty much all of the model with this except for the very bottom of that smoky area. This I'm trying to, this is like kind of the base color of the ethereal beam where the smoke has a base color that's even darker. So we'll highlight up from here. Now that we're here, we're going to use some pure wolf gray, and this I'm very lightly dry brushing on the very bottom and then getting heavier as we get to the top. By the time you're at the top, you should be pretty heavy trying to really uh, get a nice coat of that wolf gray on there while still maintaining all of the you know vibrant colors that we've put in there in on the uh, cracks and crevices. But down at the bottom, you want some wolf gray just on the tips of all of the smoke. Uh, to kind of bring out its color. Now we're mixing white into the wolf gray. This is just pure white. And we're mixing that into the wolf gray and doing a lighter dry brush uh, pretty much from the top down. So I just kind of started at the top, went down uh, about two thirds of the way um, just to, to get a coat of that. Now our final bit is going to be to edge highlight anything that looks like it needs to be popped out basically on the top but i did go down and and grab a couple of strands of the smoke at the very bottom and this is just with pure white now you will need a couple of coats of this um, if you don't want it to look chalky and ashy 
Uh, otherwise, it's going to be very noticeable that it's a dry brush even from far away. But if you want it to really smooth out, this is your opportunity. Come back with your paintbrush, do a couple of layers, and I think that this came out great for being so quick and painless. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know what model you would like to see painted next. And if you are going to try out this way to paint this ghost and all future ghosts. I really appreciate you all watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. New outro, I know. If you want to watch more in this series, click right here. If you would like to watch another video in a completely different series, click right here. And if you'd like an easy way to subscribe, other than clicking down below, even though it's right there and it says subscribe, you can click on this little picture right here. That also works.